Michael, I can't think of a more profound question than asking, does everything that exists, all there is, the cosmos, have a reason? Is it about something? Forget gods or religion, or is there anything that the universe is about? I, th I think the question, does the universe have a reason or a purpose or whatever, is too broad a question. Uh, I think if we spec specify what we're talking about, like, does a st do stars have a reason? Yeah, their, their purpose, their reason is to convert hydrogen to helium. They can't help it. They do it because <laughs> the laws of nature insist that they do. And humans have a reason or a purpose. Our, our reason and purpose is to survive and reproduce and take care of our offspring and our family and so on. But on top of that, we can build other things. Like one of the purposes of life is to have some kind of goal in mind. And, and maybe that goal is a higher goal that, that has to do with my wanting to impress my fellow tribe members, impress my, <laughs> my girl, <laughs> and so on. Even though the basic biology of just reproducing, because you know, that's like a star converting hydrogen to helium. <laughs> we produce our DNA. You know, okay. but, but, but we can add on to it personal meaning and purpose. So in, in a way, the answer is, yeah, the universe has a, a purpose or a reason. It's what we make of it, but nothing more than that. But if you look at the universe as a whole, uh, you, you, it's just there. There's no reason for it. I mean, you, you're saying that question itself is a meaningless question. I would say the universe is just there, and there's nothing more we can say. As far as we know, there's nothing outside of it to give it meaning. But even if there was, why would that give it meaning? It's still up to me and you to to create our own meaning. And if we create our meaning in a universe that doesn't have meaning, does that make our meaning artificial? It makes it personal. Uh, I don't even I don't like the word artificial. It, it's personal. Um, it's real. It's real as far as I got to get up tomorrow and do something. Right. That's as real as it gets. And and the universe, the fact that 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 was built into the structure at the Big Bang, the initial conditions plus the laws of physics created that situation where you're going to get up tomorrow morning and have a purpose to do something. Yeah, in a way... Is that an accident? No, I, I think the laws of nature being set up such that stars burn hydrogen and helium and humans get up and go to work tomorrow, I think it, it's all subsumed under laws of nature. Right, it has to be. It has to be, yeah. right. So is that an accident? I don't know. Uh, it's the property of our universe. Right. Everybody will agree with that. Yeah. But, but what more can we say about that? Maybe there's multiple universes and others don't have that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But who knows? I don't know. You don't know. Right. So well, I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, so you ask enough people, maybe you get the guy with the answer. But I don't think there is an answer yet. I don't think we know that. Is, is that possible to have an answer, even in principle? Sounds... sounds no, I, I, it's hard to say, Robert. I don't know. Uh, I think in principle we can maybe refine the answer a little bit better, but not ultimately say what it all means. I don't think that's possible. So you're, you're, it's a coherent statement then that it, we don't know whether the universe has a purpose. It might or might not, you're saying. But we can say that things in the universe have a purpose and but our purpose is a different kind of purpose than a star's purpose, because one is by, by, by mindless law, and at least we think we have some intentionality to bring to it. Right. So that's a different kinds of purpose. It's different, but still subsumed under the laws of nature. Okay, so the, the argument, like, why do we like music, uh, write poetry or whatever? Okay, so one evolutionary psych argument is that um, it's a sexual selection thing, that uh, one way to impress um, members of the opposite sex or to gain social status amongst the, your fellow in your group members and so on, is to write beautiful music and right. poetry and so on. Okay, I kind of like that argument. Now, it, 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 on, a, on one hand, it sounds a little cold, like, oh, you're doing it just to get laid. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot in that. Yeah. You know, actually, yeah. you know, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. But, uh, we can actually build these beautiful monuments and cathedrals right. and music and so on. <laughs> Because of something uh -huh. simpler, but it's all you know starts here and builds and builds and builds. Mm. What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree. The question is, can you infer from the purposes that we have to a larger purpose in 
in, in, in everything. I don't think you can infer from very specific examples to the whole thing is meaningful. I think it's a meaningless question to, to, to try to answer. A meaningless question is a difference between saying it's a meaningless question and to saying it's a question that we don't know the answer to, but it's a meaningful question. I think it's a meaningful okay, question. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's, it is a meaningful question. You're right, it is meaningful. I just don't think it's answerable because it's too broad. I think I like to s stick with specific examples. 